Hello, welcome to Economic Dispatch Section 9D. We will learn Economic Dispatch considering power loss by doing an example. The objective function is to minimize total production cost subject to power balance constraint. We must find lambda and B matrix and then we will use this matrix equation to find the value of PGI. Now we will learn to perform economic dispatch iteratively. It's better shown by a flow chart. First, find total load demand and set the initial value of lambda. Then find B matrix, LHS matrix and RHS matrix. We will use them to find PGI and P loss by these equations. Then we check power balance constraint. If it is not satisfied, update lambda and go back to recalculate B matrix, LHS matrix and RHS matrix. Then we will perform this process iteratively until power balance constraint is satisfied. Then the process is terminated and the solutions are obtained. Let's learn by doing an example. Suppose there are three bus, two generators at bus 1 and bus 2. Let bus 1 be swing bus, bus 2 be voltage controlled bus, and bus 3 be load bus. This example is the same one in the clip Economic Dispatch 9B. Cost functions are given. Generator G1 is cheaper than G2. Change line impedance to line admittance, which is the reciprocal of line impedance. Form Y bus and Y C bus and R bus. First, we perform simple economic dispatch with our loss consideration. We've got the lambda $5.4 per megawatt hour, PG1 192 megawatt, PG2 68 megawatt. Then we run power flow by using Gauss method to obtain the apparent power S1, S2 and voltage at each bus. This picture shows power flowing in each line. It has the solution of economic dispatch without loss consideration. Let's start with the initial value of lambda, approximately $5.4 per megawatt hour. Then perform economic dispatch with loss consideration as described it in the former slide. This process is performed it iteratively until power balance constraint is satisfied. Then we've got final output. PG1 is approximately 138 MW, PG2 is approximately 120 MW, and the estimated loss is 8 MW. We use PG2 as the new input for power flow process. Then we've got the solutions power flowing in each line. The power loss should be 9.52 MW. Let's compare the output from two methods. The total loss from simple economic dispatch without loss consideration is 9.9 .9 MW, whereas the total loss from economic dispatch with loss consideration is 9.52 MW, which is approximately 0 0.4 MW less or approximately 4% of power loss reduction. In conclusions, economic dispatch with loss consideration must be performed iteratively. B matrix PGI and lambda must be updated iteratively until power balance constraints is satisfied. Economic dispatch with loss consideration produce less power loss than that of simple economic dispatch. 
Thank you for your attention. Please stay tuned for more clips.